Now we get a whistle. And there's we got Bukestad dropping the gloves against Burroughs. Burroughs playing in his first NHL game tonight. He drops the gloves with Bukestad. He's lined up over here having a chat. Burroughs maybe could get an extra one. He threw the gloves. He's got the gloves off, throwing punches before Bukestad even really knows what's going on. I don't think Bukestad expected that whatsoever. I mean, you see the tail end of this. He's still got gloves on, no chance to throw them off. But that's just a young guy playing his first NHL game, trying to make a statement. Really hasn't had an impact. On Carrick, Sam Carrick on a there great setup from Volkov. Now VL starts to throw him with Sam Carrick. Wow, a couple of good hits by VL. Like the Alcatraz laps, and they're, they're going right at it. Wow, what a and swing. Carrick's there. obviously been cut. He's got blood coming off the inside of the visor as he'll head off for repairs. Unloading of some haymakers here as Carrick swings with that right. As VL comes in and hits him with a couple of pretty good shots, and we've seen VL throw both hands. He's not afraid to go left or right, and you can see that's where the visor came down and cut Carrick. Carrick's been in the AHL for most of this season. And he's run down by Clifford. And a good solid hit there by Clifford. Now he engages with Reeves. And they chirp behind the play, and now they drop the mitts. Clifford and Reeves. Here they go. Reeves throws a right. Clifford a bear hug. As they get it going here. Yeah, Clifford, Clifford was all over him all the way back to the goal line, took him out. He initiated, he wanted to go. Reeves looked like they, he wasn't quite ready to go at the beginning, but then once he knew that Clifford said absolutely he was ready to go, and he threw a big right to begin with. Eagle earlier in the season missed a lot of games, and now uh -oh. we got Smith. Smith and Lafferty as they renew. What started earlier led the new penalties, and they're going at it. Lafferty showing some punches. I don't think he connected much. Smith, Smith got him with the initial left. And Smith says something to his bench Number after that. Right left side of your screen. Those right guys away. got fired for fighting. You now Smith was able to get. Haglin locked up Krejci there. There's a penalty call. The trail official Here spotting it. Richie and Hathaway are gloves down. That's a heavyweight bout for sure. Richie lost his helmet and then threw the last five punches of that fight. And I mentioned that during this shift that Hathaway wanted to start something to energize his team. It's a little bit of a hack in the neutral zone, inside the zone, and then Hathaway's first to drop the mitts. And this is all about getting his team going, heading into the locker room. Richie got the last couple on Hathaway as the lid flew off of Richie. So a power play for Washington late in the opening period. Sergachev. Oh, was he hit there by Mateau? Mateau's gonna fight. Cal Foot comes in. Mateau's ready to go. Two guys that both their dads have played in the National Hockey League. Cal Foot's gonna try to get it going here. As Mateau came in with a big hit and Foot came over, Foot's a big boy and he understands, hey, didn't like the way that looked, didn't like the way that felt when you see a teammate get hit like that and Mateau. He had intentions there, and the crowd appreciates the uh, emotion. Chev lined up. Great hit by him. He had got a little bit high. Ooh. Yeah, that's a borderline hit by Mateau. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it in slow motion, I think everything is borderline. But that was right off the bench. Sergachev with his head down and. And a big collision, we got a fight. And it's Olivier coming in on Ernie for the hit. Wood. Got him in the back of the head, and yeah, that's gonna draw attention real quick. So Adam Ernie, unfortunately, he's really not a, a dirty player, but he had to recognize and didn't what he was in for, and Olivier took exception to that. Pounds him over to Curtis McDermott. Lemieux. And we've got a penalty coming up. Oh, and 
Jones at the whistle. Yarosh came together, and now McDermott and VL are going to go. This might be a mismatch here as VL. McDermott's got the size advantage here. And he's got his right hand free. Oh, boy. VL's got to try and tie him up. And give him credit for hanging in here as McDermott just now he's got the helmet and the jersey up over him. Boy. Yell had the original penalty, but I think McDermott might have e evened it up because he went after Vial and initiated that fight. After to see you, and that's battered away by Jones. Comes back to the net again, and Jones with another save in tight as Sorensen scrapping with Athan to see you outside of the crease. Meantime, Martin Jones continues to take care of business. Now these two are gonna duke it out here. As Sorensen turns after to see you down onto the ice, after to see you gets back up, and the linesmen are going to end that. And goes right onto Balsers as now we're seeing a scrap. After to see you and Sorensen are going to go again. These two went at it early in the game, and after to see you kind of got pulled down by Sorensen. Sorensen hanging in there. After to see you can throw. Now his helmet comes off, but. Sorensen's down, and that's the end of that. Eric Stahl, and now there's Evans and Morrissey who are on the way. Are we going to engage the combat? And voilà, it's parti. We dance. If my memory is fidèle, it's the first combat of Evans in the Ligue Nationale de Hockey. Two clients of the same stature. We remember that Morrissey had a mare to go with Perry. And off the face-off, Delorier is going to go with Liam O'Brien. Don't know much about O'Brien. Been a couple of years before this season since he last played in the league. He got three games with the Capitals two years ago, but he is game to go with the Ducks' number one fisticuff man. And they get in close and start trading right hands. Delorier with about three, four in a row, and both benches erupt as they tumble to the ice. An exchange of rights. Dylan going uppercut. Wagner going for a big hook. The fans are into it. Washington, we got number 14 for Boston. Both guys are fighting. With Wagner, just to finish my thought, just saying that don't get in my way here. I'm going after them before. <laughs> Dylan landed some. Now Ekholm trying to retaliate. Now some laundry goes on the ice. We got sticks, we got gloves, and here we go. Adriano going after Arvidsson. Arvidsson wrestles him down. Great job there by Victor Arvidsson. You don't want him dropping the mitts, but he had no choice there. Cogliano went right after him, and he answers the bell. Right here, vulnerable position. Como oh. comes out over and hammers him. Then Arvidsson, there's when Cogliano drops the mitts right away. Arvidsson got one glove off. He doesn't have his one off yet. Cogliano starts throwing, then Arvidsson's gonna come back up and just throw him down to the ice, and he gets a Winnipeg 2-0 lead early on in this game. It did seem like a harmless rush ahead, but now we've got the fight. And it's gonna be Josh Brown against Logan Stanley. Brown 6-5, Stanley 6-7. Two big customers, and Josh Brown is a, a veteran guy who's not shy to drop the gloves. Exchanging rights for a moment. Brown connects with the right, then jabs with the left. Sends looking for a spark after giving up another goal here. Josh Brown going toe-to-toe -to -toe with... The youngster Logan Stanley, even though he doesn't look like that, and they will part at both benches, will let them know their gratitude. Physical along the wall, and Brown has a conversation right away, right away and Stanley is, is ready for it. We mentioned before, Stanley's a big guy. Colin Miller. Well, here we go. Matt Irwin and Nick Ritchie. Richie goes over and under and gets Irwin's noggin off kilter. And the linesmen get in there, and Richie isn't done. He'll put it up. 
Yeah, so you got the brusque going behind the net with the puck. Rich is just trying to go in there and kind of run traffic, you know, kind of like a moving pick, draw people with him and let DeBrusque do what he wants to do. But DeBrusque was unsure of what to do. The puck gets turned over, but then you can see the exchange between Irwin and Rich. Laps it around the boards. Miller just drills Asplund. Takes a number and Miller's gonna take on. Oh, what a right to Tage Thompson. Asplund goes down, a little shaken up after the contact by Miller. Thompson came in, went looking for Miller. Maybe a height and reach advantage, but <laughs> that's about where it ended. Yeah. That, that's what they said about Joe Frazier's opponents. <laughs> the fifth of eight meetings, Kreider and Severson are squared to go. I didn't see this coming, Kent, but this is what the rivalry's all about. Big Chris Kreider, and I love to see the fire from Damon Severson. Kreider throws a big right. Damon Severson trying to get Turned around, we saw Michael McLeod go Kreider and Severson lands one and pulls Kreider to the ice. Severson took exception, there's a big right hand from Kreider that lands on the top of the helmet. Good save by Blackwood there. Merkley and Smith are engaged here. Now McLeod steps in for Nick uh, Merkley. Here we go again, McLeod with Brendan Smith. They went once before in this series and McLeod's not afraid to drop the mitts and he gets a couple of rights and throws Smith to the ice well this is how you grow this is how you build as a team the smaller Merkley was engaged with Smith and Michael McLeod the bigger you see Smith with the quick jab I think he caught McLeod a little bit then McLeod with a couple of overhand rights I'm loving what I'm seeing a little talk with him here say okay boys Get to playing, and well, then they're you can ready do to go. It. I don't know if this is a way to commemorate the 1,000th game or a, an old score to settle. Well, on your thousandth game, do you want to get a Gordy Howe hat trick? You got two thirds of it done here for Lucic, and Saverin in his first game steps up physically. This last little stretch, Lucic was talking about his thousandth game and thinking of making memories and it's been an interesting start for him there. Timo Meyer gets up and I think he was he and now Gambrell and Manson going. Josh Manson has the right hand free. Gambrell trying to get his arm loose and he takes a left from Manson. They continue to go at it and finally they go down. Uh, gives Dylan Gambrell a lot of credit for fighting out of his weight class here. Manson's got a lot more experience dropping gloves than Dylan Gambrell. Here's Malash. Oh, there we go. There's Troy Terry and Shimmick going out of here in the corner. And they'll drop the gloves. And here's Shimmick throwing right to Troy Terry. Wow. Who falls. And the linesmen quickly get between those two. We have the scrap with Manson. Here's Dylan Gambrell trying to work it back to the blue line. Comtois intercepts. Fails to chip it cleanly past Shimmick. Oh, here we go. And now we got Shimmick another scrap, and Shimmick's going to go with Comtois. Comtois coming over top with the rights. And now coming underneath, Shimmick wrestles him down. And we got to give credit to Comtois, just kind of going after Shimmick, who. Like you said, went with Troy Terry and said, let's go. Standards 851, Anaheim 53, five minutes each fighting.